All right, so this is going to be a video about finding derivatives using limits. Okay, so we have this function right here, x cubed minus 4x, and I want to find the derivative of it. That's what this d over dx means. So it's saying differentiate or find the derivative of this function. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this down here and then rewrite it using the limit uh, definition of derivative. So this is going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now in this case, f of x plus h, that would just be, I'm going to be substituting x plus h in for x up here. So f of x plus h would look something like this. It would be the quantity x plus h cubed minus 4 times the quantity x plus h. Okay, this would expand out to be x cubed plus 3hx squared plus 3h squared x plus h cubed. So that would be this first term right here, if that's cubed, minus 4x minus 4h, because I just distributed this 4 into the x and four into the negative 4 into the x and the negative 4 into the h to get this. Okay, our f of x right here would just be this x cubed minus 4x. So what I'm going to do now is substitute this in for the f of x plus h and then this in for the f of x. So this is going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of this whole thing right here. And I'm going to put a parenthesis around this whole thing. Minus this f of x right here, which is x cubed minus 4x. So x cubed minus 4x, and I put line all the way into that, and then it's all divided by h. So from here I can cancel some things out, so it's x cubed minus x cubed, so that would cancel out for 0. This minus 4x minus minus 4x would cancel out as well. So now you're left with just this right here. So what I'm going to do with what's left here is I'm going to factor out an h, okay? I'm going to kind of put a box around this so it's out of the way. So we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0, and I'm going to factor out an h up top here, so it'll be h times the quantity 3x squared plus 3hx plus h squared minus 4, all divided by h. Okay, now here you have an h over h, so this will cancel out here, and now you're left with just this top part right here. But now, if you notice, now we're not going to be dividing by zero. This function is completely continuous at h going to zero. So if h is continuous at zero, we can use direct substitution. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to directly substitute the zero in here. So this would end up being zero. This h squared would end up being zero. And then you're left with 3x squared minus 4 as your final answer for the derivative. So if you have any questions about finding derivatives using limits, let me know.